Okay. Today I'm going to demonstrate you all on the method of crop data analysis specifically for alpha lattice design using our program okay the first step in this whole analysis process is that you should you should keep your data in a folder in my case I place my data in D drive under the folder potato oh, let's open the folder <coughs> inside this folder I have a data set and this one is of first year and this one is of second year data set okay let me show you how to arrange the data in uh, into the uh, excel file for the analysis okay this is how i prepare how i process my raw data uh, into the excel file how i compile the data here okay so each data set should be into uh, their specific uh, single columns for example uh, you can see here the replication data uh, the trial was conducted in a two replications and then there were total of Four, five, six, six blocks. This means that three blocks in one replication and another three in the second replication. And you should uh, <coughs> you should uh, denote the blocks in a continuous order. For example, if you uh, denote the block for example uh, in replication one there is only three blocks i mean uh, you can see here up to up to this point this is our replication one and this can be uh, this can be seen through this first column which represents that the ending of one here denotes the ending of the first replication this means that in uh, in each replication there were three blocks and in the another there were three that means you cannot write it uh, like uh, you cannot write it like in the second replication uh, one two three blocks i mean you have to write the blocks in a continuous order in your data file and then this denotes the respective uh, entry number of the block or the plots and these data sets are for plant height this for final plant stand this for disease severity and this for area under disease progression curve and the column for yield how you should prepare your uh, how you should entry and compile your data in the actual now <clears throat> the r program uh, does not directly uh, read the excel file data it should be converted to the csv file and it's so simple the method is so simple to convert into the csv file you can just uh, click on the file menu here and you can go on the save as menu and this one is my folder so i have to click on this folder and now you can give any name to this file let 
me pota let me write here pota head and then uh, you have to choose uh, one of the option from the save as type you just click here and then go to the csv comma delimited option you choose this option and you click on the save and this small window will appear here dialog box which will appear here and you should click on yes here so by clicking yes you agree that you want to save this file despite the fact that the some features in this workbook workbook might be lost on saving this so you should click on yes okay this is how i made my csv file here okay look this one is my csv file for for the analysis purpose and which is under the folder potato in drive d potato in drive d so now you learn that how to how to convert excel file into csp file so now the csp file is ready for the analysis purpose now we should uh, start that program and start our analysis okay